You know, I've never been on a date before where it seems to me like they're more interested in themselves. But, I mean, I, I hope the date changes. Being on this gorgeous yacht, I can't really complain. But it makes you realize no matter what you're doing, no matter how nice it is, it just kind of depends who you're with. So speaking of pizza, I was given an opportunity from my brother to venture out of Long Island, out of New York, and yeah. start my own business and my own path. And I feel like I'm in an amazing place. Me and my buddies on the weekend will all get together and um, rent a yacht for the day. I have a jet ski. I just bought it. It's like brand new. <laughs> um, He just kept bragging a lot, which is a turn off for me. My biggest phobia in life is not living my life. There was some conversations that just kind of made me a little confused. <laughs> You're cute. You look like a bright mermaid. When I saw everybody, I felt like I immediately locked eyes with you. Can I see your hand? Um, I really want to enjoy this whole day with you and this whole atmosphere and where we're at and all that stuff. And um, I might have something to make it a little bit better, too. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm really slow with that stuff. Oh, uh, no, it's I, cool. It's cool. Okay. It's cool. I'm sorry, yeah, I honestly, like, haven't kissed anyone yet, so, like, I, that's kind of very... Yeah, no, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Okay. We're here to make it fun, yeah. and it's gonna be amazing, yeah. so... Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. I'm not really a touchy-feely type of person unless I'm really into someone, and, like, I consider them my person of interest, and... For me, I just met Pete, and it's just like, you know, read the room. That just kind of made me feel really uncomfortable. Pete is a good person, but he's just not my person. I can't wait to get back 